Since the dawn of time, evolution into humanity has been about survival. That is the extent of nature's supremacy over humans. We have had to rely on our brains and wit alone. We have survived in the forest and by the sea, in the desert heat and freezing snow. Many have also perished, until they have been driven to invent something new. This is how it has been throughout history. We know that this is also the case today. Nature has never allowed itself to be trifled with for long. It is only recently that human knowledge and skills have reached such a level that we have the capacity to ruin nature completely. Mostly for ourselves. It is quite a surprise that we've managed to recognize the problem just as quickly and begun looking for solutions. Perhaps even found some. When compared to many other parts of the world, Estonia's nature is in a relatively good state. We have forests and wild animals sea and sea creatures, marshes and bogs, and good old plants. We have something to preserve, but also plenty of what has been lost and is disappearing, and what could be brought back. Today, human life relies on constantly changing economy. Our task is to guide these changes in a way that would ensure the foundation of biodiversity, formed over millions of years, would still be there for future generations. Even if one looks at nature as an economic resource, a good master has always known that you must not use up everything at once. Capital, including non-monetary capital, should be encouraged to grow. It would be short-sighted to see economic growth only in monetary terms. That is so yesterday. Maybe even the day before yesterday. But today, in cooperation with researchers, foresters and farmers, land managers and local communities, we want to improve the condition of species and habitats in forests and fields, protect and renew Estonian landscapes and ecosystems. This project is called Life IP for Est and Farm Land. We will restore 4,000 hectares of forest and create action plans for wet and dry forest habitat types. We will update Natura 2000 compensation measures for private forest owners. We will restore 1,000 hectares of semi-natural grassland and establish a consultation system to provide know-how to the landowners for restoring and maintaining their semi-natural lands. We will test biodiversity-friendly measures on arable land to make proposals for new support schemes under the EU Common Agricultural Policy. Moreover, we will develop an action plan for pollinators and carry out research into farmland birds to provide recommendations for improving their living conditions. We will restore 100 small water bodies for amphibians and test novel methods of eradicating invasive alien species. The project also aims at developing a new IT system for coordinating and managing nature conservation work and promoting environmental awareness, everyone's contribution to environmental protection and community-based actions. So, considering all this, we should take a look at the future and find a way that would lead us forward more cheerfully and painlessly and without pointless zigzagging. If we know our destination, we will always find a direct route, even if it is our very own forest path in Estonia. This path should not lead back to nature. Instead, it should lead us forward with nature.